The other day I had David with me at the church building and I was walking around and I'll show you a picture of David here so you can get a visual on those beautiful blue eyes looking back up at you uh, saying some of the things that I'm about to tell you. But he's my six-year-old and no one was around in the building. It was kind of dark. It may have been like a Sunday afternoon um, and he was following me through the building. I was doing various different things around the building and he said, Daddy, it's very dark in here. And he said it kind of matter-of-factly, you know, just, just letting me know that, hey, Daddy, it's dark in here. I just want you to know that. And that was my first clue that he was getting a little scared. As we turned to go down the pre-K hall, he noticed there's no windows on that hall, and it gets pretty dark. Even in the, in the noon day sun, it gets pretty dark if the lights aren't on. And David grabs my arm very tightly. And he said it again. Daddy, it's really dark in here. But he added, but I'm not scared because you're here. It reminded me of a story of a Cherokee boy's rite of passage. As the story goes, a father takes his son into the forest. He blindfolds him and leaves him alone. He's required to sit on the stump the whole night and not remove the blindfold until the rays of the morning sun shine through it. He can't cry out for help for anyone. Once he survives the night, he is deemed a man. He cannot tell the other boys of this experience because each boy has to come into manhood on his own. The boy is naturally terrified. I, I don't know that I wouldn't be scared at night in a forest with a blindfold on my face. Okay, let's be honest, I would be terrified as well, but this is a little boy we're talking about. He, you would hear all kinds of noises. You'd hear wild uh, animals all around you. Maybe even somebody would come upon us and try to, try to do us harm. The wind would blow the grass, the earth, the stump, but if that boy sat stoically, never removing that blindfold, he would be deemed a man. It would only be the only way he could become a man. Finally, after that horrific few hours, what must have seemed like days, the sun appeared, he removed his blindfold, and it was then that he discovered his father was sitting right next to him on the stump right beside him. He had been watching the entire night, protecting his son from any kind of harm. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 says, We walk by faith not by sight. People always say, well, I won't believe it until I see it. But that's not how faith in God works. Just like the boy sitting on that stump, just like David clutching my arm, our God is never more than an arm's length away from us at any time. We can reach out to Him, we can grab Him, but most times we just sit there scared and terrified. Sometimes we may even run the opposite direction. My encouragement to you today, it's against our nature to trust something that we can't see or touch or taste or feel. But our God, just know Him, know this, our God is everywhere. He knows all and He protects us if we rely on Him.